Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Lexi and I have a little bit of a different type of haul for you guys today. It's a multi-store haul. Well, it's mostly Target and Aldi um, and it's all like, Christmas themed stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. Um, I'm not like dressed Christmassy or even dressed up at all. I'm wearing my cheer sweatshirt. I've never been to Boston. I think this was my mom's. Um, it's pretty old because the it's not like soft inside anymore so I don't wear it a lot but I can't get rid of it because how cool is that I've been re-watching the show a little bit just for fun so I threw it on because it was in here and he had a shirt to film with so there's that it's still a mess behind me if you saw my last video you'll know that there's a hole in the wall that uh, I don't know when they're gonna fix it yet so that's still there it's still a mess I can barely even move my chair right now with everything that they had to move the crib forward so um, if you're new here sorry for the long intro I know this is a different type of video different type of haul that I normally do so yeah I'm really excited to get into it good mix of stuff here um, first I wanted to real quick one Dollar Tree item that kind of fell between the cracks because there's always something that I forget um, so a little bonus item is this if you can see it holy cow it will not focus I have to like tilt it so this is a repurchase so I'm just sharing it real quick here the Global Beauty Care Smooth and Lift Collagen Skin Cream um, I've actually already gone through one of these, so like I said, this is a repurchase. Uh, I have it in my bathroom right now. I've been using it every day, probably since Jax was born. Um, and it's really late right now, and he's asleep. Little dude's asleep downstairs, so I thought I'd get some filming done. Um, so I already went through this. I it's like a mediocre skin cream, um, but it's a dollar twenty-five. So I figured I'd get a refill of it. Um, I have other ones to go through from doing Fat Fit Fun and stuff like that, but it's always nice to have just a good, cheap uh, skincare that you can use. And I've been using it for months, and it's been fine. I usually use it in the morning. Um, I know this was just like a quick bonus item, but I'm gonna talk about it since I've gone through a whole container. I kind of have know my feelings on it. I have really dry skin. Um, so this was great in the summer, but I feel like in the winter I'll want something a bit more hydrating because this is kind of like a jelly kind of formula. It's not like the thickest cream. So I use it in the morning, not at night. Um, it's got peptides, hyaluronic acid, and squalene. Or squalene so all the words. And um, 1.7 ounces. So it lasted me a while. Uh, check that out if you can still find this line at Dollar Tree. They also had a cleanser there, but I mostly just use skin cream more than face wash. I should wash my face more, but I don't. So there's that. So I don't really know if that was a clear review. Um, I guess if you don't have very dry skin, it might be great. Or if you just have normal skin, I guess would be better. I can't really say to oily skin, um, cause mine's super dry but it works well for dry skin it's just not like the most hydrating thing ever which is fine anyways and it didn't break me out or anything so $1.25 moisturizer is a good deal <coughs> all right now that we spent two minutes on a moisturizer let's get into the real haul um all right first of all we're going right in with some baby stuff this is from target so it's my baby's first Christmas. He's going to be six months in December. Um, so I just, I didn't want to do a ton of stuff, especially because he's got three sets of grandparents. He'll get enough stuff for Christmas. Um, but I had to get this little dragon. I love him. Uh, so hopefully Jax loves him too because I love him. Um, but it's zero months plus. So even though he'll be six months, I think he'll still like it. He likes like this kind of thing right now. Um, it's got all the different textures. The wings are crinkly. And it's got the little pull tabs and the teethers and stuff. And he just loves 
just chewing on stuffed animals like even stuffed animals without teethers and stuff he loves right now because he's teething so he's great it's got all the features on here this was on sale so I got it for ten dollars um, it's originally $12.99 from Target and it's the sensory snuggables brand so and of course I had to get it because it was a dragon it matches the theme of our nursery here and it kind of reminds me of the Grinch like it's Christmas colors right it's such a pretty green and red so oh, I just love him as soon as I saw him I'm like this is Jax's Christmas present uh, it's perfect so yeah I was so excited about that I'm like is it is it too like little like I don't know should I get him something that's like six months and up since he'll be six months then but you're never too big for a stuffed animal right I guess um, and then I got these from Aldi to go with it. They're, I'll probably like put something like this in his a stocking for him. Um, I thought that'd be cute. They're just baby foods, the little pouches, which he's not ready for yet. We just started feeding him solid foods last week. So um, maybe by Christmas he'll actually be like getting more into these. But they say six months plus, which is not that far off so I got an apple sweet potato and apple carrot um, and sweet potato and carrots are the two things he's tried already so there you go as long as he can um, eat from the pouch I don't know it says six months plus so it should work good and these were 85 cents at Aldi so great if you have a baby and you don't know what to get them for stocking stuffers obviously at this age I feel like it's more for us than for them like, he doesn't know if he doesn't get presents for Christmas. <laughs> we give him food and clothes already every day. Sorry, I jiggled my camera with some stuff. So, and he gets toys and everything every day. So, everything's new. Anyways, but I thought that was too cute to pass up for him for Christmas. Alright, some stuff from Target. We got wrapping paper here. The Wonder Shop at Target. So they had different, like, wrapping paper at different price points. These were both the $3 tubes, and it's 50 square feet, so a little bit more than Dollar Tree. I just got one that was, like, 37 square feet, so 13 more for, you know, $1.75 more. So it's obviously more expensive, but it's probably a little better quality than Dollar Tree paper. Um so hopefully you can see this I don't really want to unwrap it <coughs> still got the cough feel like it won't go away Help. okay so this is dinosaur wrapping paper um I yeah I just love the dinosaurs I, I want to use it for my sister and maybe like my brother-in-laws or something it'd be cute for little little guy um yeah so I don't know what I'm gonna put in it I'm trying to think of what I already got for people for Christmas and like what I can wrap and stuff so probably end up using it for my sister and just in the future I'm sure I'll wrap little guys um presents in little dinosaur paper that'd be cute and it does have the grid on the inside of these for cutting um, and then this one as well. So both of these, neither of them go with my aesthetic for Christmas. I just do like classic, traditional, mostly red, black and white, like black and white checkered patterns and red. Um, so not very colorful at all or cartoony. So these don't go with my aesthetic under my Christmas tree. But like I said in my last Dollar Tree haul with Christmas stuff, I like doing like more personalized wrapping paper for the people I'm giving the gift to so these made me think of people in my life so I got them um, this one will work for a lot of people but this one reminded me of a friend well a couple of friends a lot of friends I know do sign language like everyone I know it's kind of weird do you know a lot of people that know sign language I feel like it's just an interesting cool thing. I don't know a lot of it. I 
can probably say the alphabet which is all that's on here so all that to say this is it says Merry Christmas in sign language I thought this was the coolest wrapping paper maybe ever um, yeah it's just really cool so I don't have a present for my friend yet but now I have wrapping paper for her for like ever I don't know I can just reuse it every year for the same person maybe um, and it just says Merry Christmas I'm trying to turn it so you can see all the letters I love it and it's using pink which I don't normally do for Christmas but I'm kind of I know it's popular this year so I'm kind of into it even though I have like nothing pink for my Christmas decor but kind of makes me want to start so that's all the wrapping paper that I got I don't really need any more <laughs> didn't need this so I don't need more than that um, and then I got some socks these fuzzy socks from Target is a pack of two for three dollars by the Wonder Shop. I don't know what that was. Okay. Um, and of course they're dinosaurs, so you'll probably see a theme here: dinosaurs and dragons, little gingerbread cookie dinosaurs. How adorable is that? And they're different dinosaurs. There's a Triceratops and a T Rex, and then a Christmas tree there and then the back ones are just red green white stripes so um these are for my sister because she loves socks I could keep them for myself too because uh, I've gotten other socks I could keep any of them but I might just give them all to her because she will enjoy them or appreciate them especially these they're so adorable so they were in the front section at my Target. I almost said Dollar Tree. I might say that a lot because I do too many Dollar Tree hauls. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyways, it was in the front by like the Christmas family pajamas section. So. So cute. Okay, this is all from Target. Okay, so. dying. <coughs> oh, I don't know what to share first. There's so much in here. Uh, we're going to do the boring stuff. I got some icebreakers because fun story. I was out of them. Not really a fun story. But icebreakers are expensive. These were three dollars. I feel like I haven't bought icebreakers in a while. Didn't they used to be two? Anyways, I had gotten a whole bunch when I was pregnant to like help with morning sickness and then I just got used to keeping them in my purse and then I ran out. I'm like, I need more icebreakers. So I like the wintergreen flavor, but I feel like the last time I bought them, they were $2 and then they went up to 3 at Target. Like they were more expensive other places. Walgreens, they were like $5. It was ridiculous. So hopefully these last me a long time. So, icebreakers, also a great stocking stuffer. Again, you know, for other people. <coughs> we got more baby stuff. And these, the packaging came off. Okay, this is all I got, I believe, from the uh, Target Dollar Spot. Where they had these little corked jars of just little Christmas things you can see here well they had multiple of them I just got the two and these were a dollar a piece so this one with the glitter in it says Christmas spirit how cute especially if you have kids that would be adorable I mean you don't want to like sprinkle it every like all over your house and get make a mess but I feel like I want to sprinkle some Christmas spirit everywhere you know but I'll keep it in the jar. <laughs> um, I'll probably keep the packaging on it so it stays contained. And then this one is the North Pole. Like, it's a candy cane, but they call it the North Pole. So how cute is that? And then just little fillers in there. They have, they've had stuff in the past like coal. They had silver bells, sugar plums. 
so just different things like that i thought these would be adorable just thinking about what i can do with them besides in like a tiered tray which i still don't have a tiered tray but you know what i mean just little decor out stuff like that you could put them in an advent calendar if you have like kids i think that'd be cute like kids at the age where they'd appreciate a jar of christmas spirit or like the north pole it's just kind of magical i guess so if you have little uh, advent calendar you want to put little gifts in every day you could do one of these and if you have older kids i personally like the native um deodorant holiday scents like better than their normal scents especially the mini ones so i got two of these well two different kinds uh, i got the fresh mistletoe last year i actually have a full-size version of this i got it after the christmas season when it was on sale because i liked the mini so much um so i picked this one up as well as the candy cane scent this year these are $2.99 and they're great to just keep in your purse if you need to reapply deodorant especially because it's more like of a natural deodorant you might have to reapply um but I like these better than the regular scents. I've only other ever tried one other native deodorant because they're kind of expensive. Deodorant in general is kind of expensive. Um, but I've tried the mini version of the whatever, the cucumber one, I think it's called. And not my favorite. And that's the only other one they have in mini. So at, around the holiday time. I'm talking too much about deodorant because, um, yeah, I don't know why I'm so excited about it, but they're so cute and mini and only a few dollars, so they're perfect stocking stuffers, advent calendar, you know, all that sort of Christmas stuff, or if you just want to get it for yourself to put in your purse, that's great too. I can also put it in my own stocking, um, but yeah, I think that's great that they have more scents this time of year than they normally do normally they only have the one scent in the mini version and I really like the mini version they're the perfect size so check those out also the fresh mistletoe obviously is my favorite because I have the giant or the regular size of it and it smells so good so yes sorry that was close up I dropped something um and then random kind of thing here I did not buy this I went to Starbucks in my Target as you do and it happened to be red cup day so they gave me this so I thought I'd show you isn't it cute I got like the second to the last one I was not expecting that at all I did not know they were having a red cup day so it's like a free cup with purchase and they just like were handing these out not that I need another reusable cup but I only have a couple of this style from like actually Starbucks ones so I'm not complaining about it so free cup from Starbucks the other day FYI um, it's over now so I guess it's old information this is the last thing in this bag <coughs> alright it will not the light makes it so hard to focus I need to like tilt it all the way down um it's a baby's first Christmas ornament so again on the baby theme there was something else okay I lied there's one more thing in that bag um but this was five dollars so it's in their five dollar ornament section which is a lot cheaper than I was looking for stuff you can get on Amazon which weren't even that cute like I didn't see anything special on Amazon and everything was like 15 to 20 dollars and I know I want a baby's first Christmas ornament because why wouldn't you and it's got the year on it so baby's first Christmas 2023 and it's a picture frame so you can put their picture in it so that makes it kind of personalized whereas the ones on Amazon like you can get their name and stuff but like I didn't see any picture ones and I didn't I didn't see anything super cute and didn't want to pay 15 dollars for it so five is a lot better and it's just a little I got the blue one it's a little boy um, it's just a Christmas wreath and the this is the ribbon that says baby's first Christmas so 
love it it's so adorable I feel like I'm probably gonna break this and I should probably get a backup one but that's just just the thought just just saying it might break at some point and I'm probably gonna want to replace it so but yeah baby's first Christmas ornament really good find at Target and then I was of course looking at their baby clothing too he's already got some baby clothing um I don't know where it is I think it's in this giant bin of baby clothes but he's got a my first Christmas bib already and some outfits and stuff he's not fitting into them yet so out oh, they're put away but I got some socks for him because he doesn't have like a lot of socks I got one set that's got a pair of red socks with it but so I got these 6 to 12 month sizes because he'll be 6 months in December already um, in the green and red just plain is so gorgeous and it will go with so much and he's got a lot of socks but like I said nothing super Christmassy and there some of them are like small like I got a lot of newborn stuff for him and he still wears them I still put newborn socks on him but they're getting kind of small on his feet so I feel like these look so big but I think they'll actually fit him really well and also I keep feeling the white heel because it's fuzzy it's like really soft not the green it's just regular sock material but see this is like fuzzy like a Santa hat it's so cute and these were five dollars for a two pack of the Carter's socks so yeah I didn't get any other baby clothing yet we'll see yeah I tried looking last year to see if anything was left over on sale and nothing was left over in like the right size so I didn't get hardly anything last year I tried but he's got some Christmas outfits but you don't need a ton <laughs> pretty much it for Target I got a couple Aldi things I did get some stuff like I was just kind of in the Christmas mood at Target Christmas shopping I was looking at children's books um, honestly it's better deals on Amazon so I don't know if you guys do this but I did read some of the books in store and added them to my Amazon cart because they were cheaper on there probably probably not good but <laughs> good for me not good for Target um, but they had really cute they had their Christmas books out and I got some peppermint creamer you know they have eggnog at um, not Dollar Tree I almost did it again at Target they have Target brand eggnog, so if you like eggnog and you're into that, you're looking for eggnog. It's like six dollars at the grocery store normally, um, three fifty for Target brand, and they had all different kinds. So I actually got oat milk to try because there's a couple lactose intolerant people in my family. So I wanted to try the oat milk, see how good it was. Uh, we'll probably get more before the season's over, but check out Target if you like eggnog because it's a lot cheaper than anywhere else and just some wine for like but those are in my fridge downstairs so I don't have them to show you guys but just letting you know and then I got some wine which I was going to share because it was part of my Christmas shopping but it's something I think you can only find in Michigan or it's made in Michigan so I wasn't gonna <coughs> excuse me talk about it um so that is all from Target I think and now I just have Aldi left. So Aldi had a lot of cute things like they always do but I feel like this year is just really good. Um, I almost got Jax a baby toy and then I went back for it and it was sold out. A little Taco Tuesday um, tea there but it's fine. So like I said he doesn't really need any toys or any more toys. Um, and they just have like a lot of fun packs at Aldi for Christmas but this is what I got so it's an advent calendar and they had multiple colors of this and I believe this was ten dollars um I mean you can make advent calendars I'm sure I could DIY something super fun but I thought this was adorable I just love the little like baby size 
stocking um so it kind of stood out to me and i really liked this white one like i said there were multiple colors and i know this is just gonna get dirty but i love the white with the red string um they also had red with red string they had like green and white all green like they had like five different colors um of these stockings but this is what i got so it's 24 in here or 25 probably doesn't say 25 mini stockings count down to christmas so it's 55 inches long total loops at each end for easy hanging okay yeah so it's got loops on the end of the um string to hang it on which i have like a faux fireplace we can probably hang it on but you know the baby's gonna be like grabbing that and pulling on it and tearing it down so we'll see where i'm hanging this this especially this year <coughs> yeah you can put a little small gifts or candy inside here so i thought it'd be really fun to just have like a tradition of doing an advent calendar it'd be easy you don't have to make it it's already made for you just have to get it out and probably untangle it um so hopefully you can uh store it really well throughout the year so it doesn't get tangled up um so that is at aldi if you're looking for an advent calendar check that out and this is totally all oh, kind of not but not really related to christmas and then this is the last thing i had to show you guys so this was just a kind of a bonus um multi-store haul for you i was gonna add it onto my last dollar tree haul and then it was way too long so it's a separate extra video for you guys but I found these soaps which I would say are obviously a dupe for Bath and Body Works but I haven't actually tried them yet so but I was so excited I got three because I just couldn't decide I liked every scent they also had a vanilla so I could have gotten that <coughs> but they are foaming which is the kind of soap I like from Dollar Tree they were all foaming and these were two fifty a piece. Um, I got the chamomile and bergam bergamot or bergamot. I think it's bergamot. Um, really pretty packaging, kind of springy. So, like I said, not really related to Christmas at all. I don't know. You could put soap in someone's stocking. They had the sparkling lemon liqueur. Oh, that reminds me of something else. I'll have to grab to show you. This brand must be the like Aldi brand, the La Cura thing. I feel like I've never heard of that. Is it new or have they always had their own like brand of skincare? I got a couple more things to grab to share with you from Aldi. So this is not the last thing, but this is the only like Christmas scent they had besides the vanilla, I guess. Um, this is frozen peppermint and you get 10 ish ounces in here, 10 fluid ounces. And I smelled all of them in store, so they all smelled really good. So two fifty is a pretty comparable price to Bath and Body Works on sale. So if you get a good sale, like I know tomorrow, their um, hand soaps are two ninety five, all two ninety five. Plus, you can usually stack coupons on top of that, so like twenty percent off two ninety five, basically two fifty. <coughs> so this isn't that much cheaper. It might just be convenient if you don't want to go to Bath and Body Works and you already shop at Aldi. And I've never seen these before, so I'll be interested to see if they come back. Because usually the thing about Aldi is stuff doesn't come back. But this was in like the their little beauty section that they have. They have a small one with like sunscreen and toothpaste and stuff. So I'm excited to try those. I got one basically for every like sink in my house so kitchen and two bathrooms um I like having the lemon in my kitchen it's just preference so yeah let me know if you guys would be interested in a Bath and Body Works haul because honestly I might be going tomorrow for their sale like I was just talking about um and yeah I definitely go there not all the time but usually like when I have a coupon I'll go there so I could save them up and share with you guys so like I said, I have to grab one more thing from Aldi, and then that will be it. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> it is not easy to get in and out of this chair right now. 
Um, I had to run downstairs because this was in my purse. I almost for can't believe I almost forgot about these because I already put them away. So these are both that Lacura, La Lacura brand. Let me know if you guys have ever seen or heard of this. I think it's just at Aldi because everything I got the hand soaps like I just realized are the same brand. Um, and they just had like so many different products from that brand in like different sections. So, so cool. They had a makeup collection. Now this was in like the Christmas seasonal aisle that I found. And then this was in like, you know, buy the toothpaste with the hand soap. So this is an ultralight body spray SPF. So it's a sunscreen SPF 100 spray sunscreen but it's an ultra light body spray dermatologist tested water resistant 80 minutes lightweight feel you get five ounces in here how pretty the packaging is a dollar fifty for a sunscreen that's SPF 100 and lightweight I thought it was a misprint like I'm like oh there's no way that's a dollar fifty when I saw like the tag and it said you know whatever sunscreen body spray and then I checked my receipt and it said a dollar fifty I should go back and get another one um, especially for next summer um probably be able to use this on kids too I don't know not like babies but like if you have young kids cause I'll have a one year old next summer um $1.50 for this Lacura brand sunscreen SPF 100 so go check out Aldi for your sunscreen I literally couldn't believe it and then this is obviously a benefit makeup dupe I'm sorry I can't see anything I can turn this light off it is kind of worse but there you go there's the brand 24 hour wear um, it is a clear shaping and setting brow gel <clears throat> comfortable flake free formula dual sided wand for precision application we're going to try this on oh God. Hello? Ah, that scared me so bad a bag fell must have jostled something when I grabbed the sunscreen okay so we're gonna open this up my favorite brow gel right now is actually the tinted one from benefit is like I think 3.5 or something is my number in it um, <clears throat> but you can so clearly tell like it's the same packaging style as benefit cosmetics and you can see the wand picture on the side there so 24 hour wear clear brow gel I kind of wish they had a tinted one but I didn't see one they had like blush and bronzers that was the other thing is the blush and, bron and bronzers were the exact same packaging as the benefit blushes those little cardboard boxes with the cute patterns on them I don't remember what they're called so they were definitely duping that and they were this was four dollars and I think the blushes were like five or six um, okay this is what the brush looks like so it's dual sided you can see whoa my, okay, my hand is too white for that to um, stand out and my camera is not great but you can see there, there's two sides to the brush so I guess one is for like applying product and one's for combing through. I don't know which is which. Instructions. Apply gel and light strokes in direction of hair growth. Okay. <laughs> to fluff and lock brows into place. Can be used on its own or is the last step. Okay. We're just going to do it. I've got a little bit of color in my brows right now. Yeah. Okay, a lot of product came out with it. You probably can't see anything. Let me get a mirror. 
even like the silver and pink and like the letters reminds me of Benefit. How cool is that though? So it hasn't like dried yet. Like I feel like there's so much product. It's still, oh, it's wet. Okay, that got a lot of product on with that one side and let's comb it through. Okay, that gets a little bit out. That's better. It was like clumpy for a second. Oh gosh. Got really fluffy brows. So, there you go. I feel like it needs to like dry down. So I can't really tell how it's going to wear or if it's going to last 24 hours. I have no idea. Obviously, I'm just trying it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, $4 versus Benefit is probably like 13 for like a mini size. Maybe $20 or more. I don't know. I haven't bought it in a while. So check out your Aldi for the Lacura brand. Um, just using my little elf powder mirror. Okay. It finally dried down. It definitely makes the brow hairs just kind of stand out. I don't know anything about brow gel. Or I'm not really that picky about it. I can kind of feel it now that it's dried in my brows a little bit. But so it's not like... So it's kind of... Uh, I don't know. I don't know anything about brow gel. So it's maybe like the laminating look I don't know they still look fluffy so there you go there's the pro the brow gel I kind of want to spray this but there's a bunch of baby stuff in here hello okay now it's sunscreen on my hand I'm gonna let it dry it smells like sunscreen um and there's definitely it hasn't dried yet but and feels like sunscreen so I don't know how lightweight it is but still a dollar fifty I mean, it doesn't smell bad I can't really say exactly what it smells like I gotta stop smelling it because it's gonna hurt my nose but you can definitely see like the sunscreen sheen in here so I wouldn't personally use it on my face I use different face sunscreens for that um, but still not bad for a dollar fifty so that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video that's different than I've ever done before. Um, it ended up still being pretty long, so I'm sorry if you don't like my long videos, my long chatty videos. Um, let me know if you want to do or see a Bath & Body Works haul, or I want to do more Amazon stuff and like holiday gift guides coming up. So we're going to do more than Dollar Tree hauls. Uh, the end of this year here so thank you guys so much for watching please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more and i'll see you guys next time bye